Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Teasing Master Takagi-san season 3 episode number 8 reaction. Okay, the previous episode, um, we are back to our normal lives, you know, cultural festival is over and yeah, everything's normal again. Now, we see previous episode, we see the Nishikata being called by Takagi to, you know, take a dog, you know, into walk and Nishikata is very fond of dogs, so he just rushed out and <laughs> you know like he obviously uh, takagi realized that he wanted to spend time with the dog so she was like okay you go to the leash and they even like you know kind of go ahead a little bit do a little bit to run and when takagi was not watching he thought you know like he just kind of petting the dog and everything but by the end of it we see takagi was actually present there snapped a, like you know a few pictures of that scene and <laughs> that was funny and okay that was that the next uh, uh part was we see how they go back to school to you know bring back the uh some notebook i think he left yeah so he goes back and then he realizes like oh like well, all the couples are actually staying back so he's embarrassed and everything <laughs> so yeah and then again like you no know, kind of uh he tried to get away from takari but then takari kind of you know, outmaneuvered him and he was just waiting for him in the classroom. And <laughs> yeah, that was that. And that was like a funny, like, you know, section. And there was, then there was that section with those girls, like the whole thing with the Santa. And like, they were almost, like, you know, going to reveal that Santa doesn't exist to, to that girl. I forgot her name, but anyways. <laughs> and all right, the final part, we, uh, it was the section with knitting. Yeah, knitting. And here Nishikata actually thinks that Taha is like, you know, the way Taha said that, oh, I'm doing this for a boy, little boy. He was like, uh, uh, like, oh, who is it? Like he, she says like it's 15 years old. And he was kind of thinking like, what's happening? Who is this person? And it was bothering him. And as always, like, and I kind of realized that like, it will probably be either a dog or a cat. He reveals that, oh, it's a dog. And he's like, oh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess it, it kind of made him conscious of his feelings. And uh, yeah, let's see what this episode brings. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number eight of Teasing Master Takagi san So I'll be putting the subtitles on the time right here. Thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is goofy <laughs> background music. Hmm. Whoa, what? Where are they going? Wow, okay. What is this? Some kind of shrine? Okay, let me guess. <laughs> Nishata's probably going to say, like, oh. Let's see who, you know, who doesn't get tired while going up or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Either that or he'll say like who gets up quickly. Yeah. Oh, I realized that the one with the the, the shell it has N and T written under like you know inside it with, with the umbrella you know that I I gasa. <laughs> I never noticed that in the opening. Now I'm noticing it. The eighth episode. Damn. <laughs> High trip part one. Okay, so this is like a multiple part. Oh, he's just okay. Let's normally go. Let's normally go up. Okay. Hmm. 
damn. I was like, what's happening? It was a stairs. Talking about the manga, I think. Wait, some other manga? Not that baseball one? Um, what? What is this? Oh, wait, is, is it a distractor or something? Yeah, it's sweating. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> okay, what's he planning? Oh my god, what? <laughs> what type of a competition is this? I guess. Wait, did he like, in one of his days off, just just came here to count the stairs or something? That face. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what is this? You know, without context, this, okay, I'll talk about it later. This seems like a... Okay, never mind. Hmm. <laughs> it's like, okay, you know what? Let's not go along with my plan. Let's forget about it. Ooh, okay. He'll be like... <laughs> Did he forget? Let's see. Probably forget in... Okay. Wait, how? Wait, I don't believe she counted it. Is this somewhere written? Like, you know, like 415 steps or something? Wait, what? The day goes written. Oh, what? Yoi Koi. Yoi Koi. Great. So, yeah, all right. <laughs> oh. Eh? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, what's the problem? <laughs> I was like, wait, I, I don't believe she counted it. And then I was like, it must be written somewhere. Wait, are they, is this going to be their, them coming down? Oh no. Oh, these two.
Damn, this is serious. <laughs> I don't think he even, does he realize that this is supposed to be Okay, I think he does know. Okay. I thought maybe he didn't know, like like Takagi. And uh, not Takagi, sorry, Nishikata. <laughs> okay, you know what? I I don't think he realizes that this is that place. Or maybe. Okay. <laughs> I don't think she's going to, he's going to say anything. Oh, wait, he. Okay, definitely going to say something else. <laughs> yes. All right, yeah, he knows, but he isn't able to tell. Okay, makes more sense. <laughs> All right, let's go home. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> he's going, she's going to bring it up. Um, no, he, she cannot. He's going to divert. Yep. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Great. Oh, these two. Okay, I, you know what? I, I think these two will be a lot more comfortable with this. <laughs> He's just like, yeah. I just. Life changing stairs. Yeah. Hmm. What? Okay. I don't think so. Okay. Whoa, what the? This looks like a... Alright. Hmm. She's like, what the hell? I, I was the one who was just thinking about this. Okay. Oh boy. Well. Uh. Hmm. Um. I think he probably have already written it or something. He has already written it. Yeah, she, he already did it before. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's already written. Open it. All right. Wait, what? What are they doing here? Um. <laughs> oh, she's just excited to just climb the stairs. <laughs> No. Look at their faces. Look at their faces first. Oh my god. I don't think so. They'll, they'll be like, come on, let's race up on top. Let's race, come on. Oh no. Oh my god, this is... Uh... What? They have to exercise? <laughs> they don't even know about it. <laughs> they don't even know. <laughs> I just wanted to have some exercise. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Not even interested. But you know what? Yeah, this is more interesting. There you go. Look at this. <laughs> uh. All right, they're coming down. Oh. Okay, he, he came here before that, obviously. Oh. Oh, maybe he, 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 he went there to write the name. He, he went there to write the name. This is a, okay. Wait, couldn't he just say that it's 415? Oh, okay, he did say. Okay, okay, there you go. Well, yeah. That's why he didn't know anything about this place. Okay. Oh my god, this guy. Dance! Ah. <laughs> Renting DVDs. Huh. Oh, this is the 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 manga that he reads. I think the movie. Oh. Um, find out what is after you see. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, you know. Um. Hmm. 
Gunman of the Prairie. Hmm. All out of stock? Wait, it's just there, isn't it? Or no? Okay. Oh no. Oh, oh my god, come on. <laughs> Wow. Zombie Uprising. Titan Terror. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see what what he he chose. Duel of the Planets. Okay. Okay, don't spoil. You're spoiling it. What? Why are you doing that? What is this? Gintama? Like, what? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Why are you spoiling it? Oh my. Yo, this. Put that back. All right, there you go. You know what? The journey is everything, not the destination. <laughs> My brand new one. Drama, okay. Oh, I thought it was some kind of a philosophical. Fugitive on the run. Bounty hunter. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, maybe she's going to say that, 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 the movie. Okay, I thought she was going to bring that up. You know, the, the one with the movie, like, go together and there's like a special gift. You know what, maybe she really wanted to say that, but wasn't able to. Yeah, she, she wanted to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what she was th thinking. Hmm. What? <clears throat> Check out the big news. There you go. Okay, he did. Okay. There you go. Okay, so at least she is able to do it on, like, you know, with, in the in phone. Let's watch it. <laughs> Wait, that's the name? Okay. Oh boy. Wait, so I'm guessing the next episode we're going to get the movie, most probably? All 
all right so i think this is like the first time um but you know what i feel like the whole asking to go to the movie together was a big hurdle even for takagi like she is usually not that you know but true to you know bring different like you know like tell different stuff to nishikata tease him and everything but i feel like this this whole thing was even a little bit much for even her as well that's why she wasn't able to do face to face do that and that's why she mess you know messaged him later on Okay, I think that's the end. Yep, there you go. Oh, all right. This episode, um, this episode, the the first portion was like a big portion with the with it solely focusing on the the stairs, you know. Uh, the four hundred fifteen, I think. Yeah, yoikoi. I think that's what they called it. Uh, four. I think yo comes from four. Yon. Yon also means four. Uh, yoi koi go e go e go 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 means five and e for ichi i think one like one is ichi four is yon and five is go so yoi koi something like that i guess um uh, yeah probably like the way like you know like they kind of did that like i guess it's like a plain word or so something most probably and uh, and yoi koi means yoi means good and koi means love so good love that was like the literal translation of that whole thing so 415 stairs means a good love that's that's basically i think that's basically what they were trying to say and um <clears throat> yeah okay so here uh <laughs> nishikata had already already come here from like in, in the previous uh some previous time as we saw in the flashback later on and he he was ready this time he was like uh, you know what this time i'm going to get her this is something that she herself will never expect i'll ask her how many stairs did you climb and if, if this place was actually not um a famous place i wonder what nishik and uh, tagani would have done you know i think she probably would have accepted her defeat she would be like you know what yeah you got me you know, like that's that's the type of a person she is <laughs> and uh, yeah okay so uh, nishikata is like okay Tari, today we're going to go somewhere else they like you know come here and they start climbing and 415 stairs uh, it's not bad i guess you're definitely pro probably going to get tired if you try to run like you know on it and you try to cover it quickly but if you slowly slowly walk up it's 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 okay i guess and they were not running obviously and um they just were slowly slowly like you know getting up and <clears throat> okay so yeah so they start climbing up and nishikata's like you know with that evil face he's like <laughs> i'm going to get you <laughs> this time i'm going to win <laughs> like i don't <laughs> like, <laughs> like how does he come up with these <laughs> i think that sometimes i think about it like how can you even come up with these type of you know like competitions like like go upstairs and like ask the other person how many stairs uh, have we gotten you know like have you have we covered and like who thinks of that <laughs> i guess i guess like you know kids like takagi uh, nishikata probably and uh, I'm, I'm guessing he like, I'm, I'm guessing all the time he's just like you know whenever he goes home He's always thinking like you know what how can i like you know defeat uh, takagi how can i defeat her it's always in his head and he always tries to find out a way to like you know like <laughs> somehow defeat her okay they go up and um nishikata is like no takagi is like oh it's such a great place you know like look at this scenery it's amazing you brought me here to show me this and i thought for a moment nishikata would probably be like not like you know ask her the question you know like i i thought maybe he'll be like you know what yeah this is a good like you know like a, a good moment and let me not ruin this with like you know asking her that question but when takagi asked her like oh is this the thing that you wanted me to show did you want me to 
gonna bring it for this he was like no I, it was something different okay now another thing like i was like you know kind of <laughs> thinking about it you know like okay where is that part when they go up okay just a sec okay they, okay here we go they arrive up this scene uh, Takagi like, just runs to the like, you know, side and to see the scenery and she's like wow the view is beautiful up here okay now this scene <laughs> without any context you know like the way Nishikata was acting he just comes here you know he's just smiling like a menacingly, and she's like he's like enjoy it while it lasts Takagi-san you have no idea the despair you are about to taste this seems like a murder scene you know like from one of those detective <laughs> animes or novels you see like there's like one person is just standing in front of a railing or whatever and the criminal like you know the the the, the person comes from the behind and he's just laughing he's like haha <laughs> you 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 have no idea the despair you're about to face and <laughs> I was like, this this scene completely reminds me of that, the way Nishikata was acting this whole time. You know, just smiling menacingly and <laughs> Takagi is just, you know, like showing her back towards him. Like <laughs> I don't know why, but this suddenly popped up in my head. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, um so yeah, okay, so <clears throat> now Nishikata's like, no, I did not bring you for this. Um Okay, here's a com like a you know, question. How many stairs have we climbed up? And she's like, oh, 415. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, did she count that? I don't believe it. Like, you know, however big brain she is, she definitely did not count that. Uh, and like you know, there must be it must be written here somewhere. You know, like whenever there's like like I've seen like you know like I've I myself have gone has gone to places like this where uh like, you know, it's like a tourist spot and there's like you know like a lot of stairs to climb. And after climbing that those amount of stairs, like usually on top, there's always like a notice board where it's written like, oh, this is, this has this many stairs. And people like, you know, like see that and like when the number of stairs are immense, it's usually kind of written on top how many stairs they are. I was like, yeah, it's definitely something like that. Like he, she probably saw that after she came here. And she was like, oh, this is famous. And there you go. It's written over there. <laughs> And okay, so now here's the thing. Um, she did say that she did not come here, but she never said that she did not know about this place. Like, you know, like and as she said, like this is famous, and I already knew that it had 415 steps. And Nishikata was the one who was actually lacking in his research. Like, <laughs> and I think like you know, like this whole thing was even more prom. Like you know, it happened because previously in the flashback we see Nishikata coming here. He never went up. He actually got the information from the, that guy, from his friend. That's why he never went up. And if he actually went up, actually counting the whole thing, he probably would have seen the notice board. And this wouldn't have happened. But <laughs> yeah, that's why. Okay, and uh, Takagi is like, you know what like you know this this place is famous for like you know couples this and that and she's like oh there's like also a notebook over there if you write your name and you'll, you'll be together forever this and that she was just saying and she was like okay you lost <laughs> why don't you write down your name over there like and obviously this this is something that's like a huge of a hurdle for Nishikata at least unless and until he realizes his feelings he won't be able to do these kind of things so he's like no 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 I can't do that I, it's, it's embarrassing this and that <laughs> so he's like yeah I'm joking and she's like you know what let's come here later on you know in the future as well and um, I sincerely, you know I sincerely hope like the next time they come here hopefully their relationship is a much more concrete you know like hopefully Nishikata has already confessed and maybe they're going out and then they come here and then they write their names like maybe maybe i i hope it's something like that in the future <laughs> but yeah okay that was part one then the, we see part two of the the whole thing of um i don't remember their name at all the blonde not blonde but that that yellowish colored hair girl yellowish brown and the the guy with him with her they come here and both of them kind of knew that oh this is that place and 
both of them were embarrassed to actually express that like the girl was thinking like oh if she says something like that i'll be like oh what a child but he never says it because obviously he's like you know uh, anxious about the whole thing and he, he wasn't able to tell and he's like oh i just came here to you know take some air and just you know, breathing in and out the girl is like wait a minute am i the one who's just thinking about this am i the one who's a child oh boy but yeah like they're like okay like this is great <clears throat> like so their whole thing was like both of them knew but none of them were able to express it takagi and nishikata was like takagi knew it nishikata did not know it while the third part the one with i think that girl's name is mano that guy you know, they come here here both of them knew and both of them has expressed it like they know about this whole thing and they're dating you know like they obviously that these type of things are not that much embarrassing for them you know kind of so <clears throat> they they kind of go up and the girl the guy was pretty casual with it he's like oh it's fine you know like we're already dating it's it's okay you know like i'm not embarrassed at this and that and uh when mano says like oh let's write down the names he's like oh no i i, I don't want to do it <laughs> because i i kind of knew it like he, he probably just came here before and already wrote it and there you go that was true he came here before and already wrote it and yeah that was that and the next one the fourth one was the one which i was not expecting which is those three girls and <laughs> i'm like okay so these girls came here you know like the the, the the one with the glasses i don't remember her name the one who's a bit you know what can i say um thinks about these type of things kind of like a romantic you can call her um <clears throat> He's like oh like finally these two they must have have someone you know they you know they, they, they like so finally we'll be able to gossip about these things <laughs> and these girls were just here because they just wanted to do some exercise and he wasn't even aware of that like i i was pretty sure like yeah that would be it would be something like that because the way they were like you know kind of preparing like one was stretching their hands another one was just stretching their shoulders and everything i'm like yeah it's either they're here to race or something they'll be like okay you know what let's race to the top either that or he came, they came here to just you know move their bodies just do exercise <laughs> and that was it it turns out <laughs> like she just you know the glasses girl she just rushes up and she's like what the hell are you doing <laughs> Like, you know, this is like the 415 stairs like the uh yoikoi like why are you doing this and they're like what what are you even talking about we don't know anything about that <laughs> we're just here to have some like you know like some fresh air and some exercise and oh god like like obviously what else do you expect from them like they have no interest in these type of things oh boy <laughs> okay and <clears throat> all right okay and that then that like they kind of see the scenery all of that and then we see nishikata and takari kind of you know uh, going down and here nishikata kind of reveals that he already came here and saw the, the the guy with mano and he actually told him about this so he didn't have to go up uh, and oh my god like i'm just thinking about like you know nishikata kind of going up counting all the stairs 415 stairs my god if you actually miss some step and if you actually somehow make a mistake it's all over you have to start over again and my god that that seems like a horrible horrible thing to do you know like this this seems like a very boring job and a very bothersome job like like damn like he was actually prepared to just go there and count the stairs just so that he could like, you know defeat takagi in some competition and oh my god you know what i just thought like imagine what would have happened you know he just started counting he just goes up and like, sees 415 steps and he's like finally i'm i've, I've like you know i finished he goes up sees the sign and it's written like 415 steps <laughs> the despair that he would have felt he's like what the hell what what was i even doing here <laughs> just oh my god like uh that that would be something like at least that didn't happen you know like the, the guy like you know helped him out 
and I think that's yeah that was probably the time when he went to write the name <clears throat> so it was very recent okay all right okay and then we see the next part of this uh, episode renting dvds where they go in and uh Nishikata thought like when they see the saw the that poster the advertisement of I think what was it called hundred percent unrequited love yeah he's like oh like couples like you know ex extra gift we're going to get um I should ask Takagi but then he's like how the hell am I even able to do is am I even able to to, to do that because I'm embarrassed to do simple things so obviously this is something that is impossible. So he was like, yeah, let's just forget about it. And <clears throat> yeah, okay, then Takagi says like, okay, just like, you know, they just recommend each other movies and we're going to choose. And <laughs> at first, Nishikata was kind of thinking about using the zombie movie to scare her. But then he brings like, you know, the thing that he wants, he likes like those um, Western movies. And he brings ones called Duel of the Planets and he basically spoils the whole plot and <laughs> the, the plot like you know like he was saying that the plot was pretty interesting you know like it's like they're saying like oh like there's aliens they came here and they were like okay we're going to have a duel and then there was this guy who who actually <clears throat> you know like was selected as a representative and then in the end there was like a twist and he just spoils it the twist is that the main character was an alien. Now, there's a few questions in my head and I'm thinking about like, if the main character was an alien, was he a good alien? Was he actually helping out the humans? Or was he actually helping out the humans to betray them in the end? But that's my question. <laughs> oh my god. I'm concerned about that, you know, because the first one is okay, fine. But then if it was the second one, like they were, he was actually doing all of this. Because at the end, he'll be like, you know what? Haha, I got you. I'm actually an alien. <laughs> That'll be hilarious and sad at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's something. That'll be a plot twist, you know? Like, if he's like, you know what? I, I just wasted you guys' time. You know, I just acted as a representative to betray you in the end. And see you guys, you know, like, wallowing in despair. <laughs> oh. Anyways, um, he, yeah, okay, he just re recommends it to Nishika, uh, Takagi, and Takagi also recommends it to something, something to him. It's a movie about, uh, I think, like, yeah, the friend, about friend, like, you know, like, what did she say? Anyways, like, it was like a drama movie with some actions as well. Oh, here we go, the main character is in Fugitive on the Run and has to fight against a bunch of bounty hunters, and at the same time, you know, like his friend is sick, this and that, like it's a drama, action, all mixed together. And she's like, yeah, and then now she here, I, I was pretty sure that she was actually trying to tell him about the movie of 100% Unrequited Love. But she was like, oh, no, like I cannot do that. And she was like, you know what, let's just, like, you know, uh, give another recommendation to each other. Now, this is one thing that I actually like, you know, kind of <laughs> impressive in a way. Um, first of all, she like we see her see her kind of saying like, oh, like in crucial times, I'm unable to like, you know, bring out my courage. I was extremely surprised to see Takagi actually say something like that. Like that is unexpected, you know, like, um, but yeah, obviously she's also human. She, she was also embarrassed. And that's why she wasn't able to do that. Like, you know, face to face, it was a bit too much, even for her. So what she actually did is like she did like a um some <laughs> like some what can I say like some big brain stuff. What she did is she recommended him a movie, which actually said let let me read the name of the movie. Just a sec. No wait, is it? What is this? Is this the name of the movie or did she write this? I don't think she write, wrote this. I think this is the name of the movie, isn't it? The name is Let's Watch It Together. Yeah, yeah, this is the name of the movie. Okay, yeah, I, I was correct. So, <laughs> she wasn't able to actually say it in front of him. So what she did is she recommended him a movie, which is which his name is Let's Watch It Together. 
and i don't know why if, how if, whether she calculated the time or something like when he finished watching the first one i'm sure takagi realized that yeah after like it'll probably take like two hours for him to finish he's going to go home at this time he'll probably like you know kind of um take a bath have a meal and then he's going to start from roughly around i don't know 6 p.m or something it'll take two hours for the movie to end 8 p.m that means i'm going to message this to him at 8 p.m when he finishes the first movie takes the second movie and reads the name of the movie it's called let's watch it together that's the time when i'm going to message him <laughs> message him the poster of 100 percent unrequited love and tell him that oh look at this nishikata this is so cool isn't it and he'll be able to like you know make sense of that whole thing and she he'll be like oh he's she's actually asking me to go watch it together with her and that's what she did i don't know if this was a calculated move for her because the timing was very <laughs> pinpoint when he finished the movie took the dvd he, he just wrote wrote the name uh, and uh, not wrote sorry read what am i even saying he read the name and that's when the message popped up she's like how about it and nishikata's like okay i like you know i'll appreciate it oh my god like damn <laughs> like oh oh my god i think she actually calculated everything like obviously she the name was something that she like you know it's written like let's watch it together and I, i'm sure she probably calculated when she he'll end the first movie and he'll see what the name of the second movie is that's the time when i'm going to send him this message and yeah she was correct so i'm guessing the next episode will be them going to the movie together or something let's see that'll be interesting so yeah anyways that's it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to um, teasing master tagi san episode number eight so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that was it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of teasing master tagi san i really hope it's 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 the, it's an episode where they both of them go to see that movie that'll be really like you know that'll be really good uh, more de character development that also means yeah anyways uh, we'll see so yeah see you guys next week until then goodbye and have a nice day